Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In today's video, we'll be talking about defining reason codes for auxiliary on the 1x agent. In today's demo, we'll be looking at adding reason groups, adding reason codes, and removing reason codes and groups. You can find detailed instructions for the 1x agent in the Avaya 1x agent 2.5 documentation library. Okay, let's get started. I've just logged into the 1x agent and this agent is default and so we don't have any auxiliary codes. We only have the default code and we don't have any logout codes. So uh, in most cases the administrator would configure this from a network basis and everybody would have the same. But you can also configure the reason codes on an individual client basis. So from the agent side. And the first thing we need to do is click on the system options menu and then click on system settings and click on reason codes. Now in the reason code area we can configure the aux reason codes. We can also configure the logout reason codes and the work reason codes. And for this demo we're just going to uh, configure the auxiliary reason codes. And the first thing we can do is we can modify the default code. So let's uh, just change the default code to, we'll change it to in a meeting. And then hit enter to save it. We'll just click on the root. So if we want to add another reason to the main menu, click on the second plus sign. And then we get an untitled here and we'll just put this as uh, shipping and then hit enter to save that one. Now if we wanted to add another group, let's say uh, your menu is starting to get pretty big and we want to group things so they're easy to identify, just click on the root and then click on the first arrow and it'll add another group. And we'll call this one lab. And hit enter. And now if we want to add some reason codes under the lab subheading. We can just click on this and click on the second plus arrow. We'll add another entry into the lab list. So we click on plus and we can see that we have a plus arrow now and we can expand this and we'll get our second reason code here and we'll just call this testing and enter. And if we wanted to add another one, we just click on lab again, click on the plus and we have another entry under that. So let's call that, let's call that setup. Enter. And now if we click OK, we'll have saved our reason code structure. Now we can just take a look at that and we'll click on the plus. And we can see our auxiliary and we can see that our default 10 is now in meeting and we have our an additional one shipping and we have the subcategory of lab with our testing and setup listed in there. Now uh, if we want to change some of that we can just uh, go back into our options, system settings, reason codes and we can delete one of the individuals, we just highlight the individual item and we hit the minus sign and that will delete it from our our structure. And then uh, we can delete a whole category as well. We just highlight the lab and click on minus and that will delete the entire category. And then click OK. And now when we look at our reasons auxiliary we only have in a meeting and if we select that we'll see auxiliary in meeting shows up on our status indicator. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.